I think we laugh. What up, shawties? I don't think this lens. Hold on, I'm getting ready to clean this really quick. It just make sure it's about the right. Let's clean your eyeballs. There we go. It's looking a little lackluster. Go. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Like your sunglasses. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing today? Happy Saturday! Shout out to A Marie and Tammy and Edith, Miss Purple, Latoya, Kendra, Sky. Good morning. Good morning. Toya Weston. Louisiana, Florida. What else? See if I saw any more. Babe, is this gonna hurt your eyes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so baby's in glasses today. Yes. No, he did not have LASIK. <laughs> he did not have LASIK. <laughs> um, but I don't know what the heck happened. He's having a yesterday a situation. I don't know. Yeah, yesterday yeah, I uh, was looking at my looking at my phone, making breakfast for I think Chad, and I looked up at my phone. And I had these zigzag lines everywhere, and then. Uh, yeah, and then it just didn't go away. A couple hours later, it didn't go away. And two and a half hours, three hours later, it, we my head started the hurting. Zoo. My head started hurting. Um, Africa. Got, felt a little nausea. Like, I don't know, it's crazy. So. It's hilarious that you call it nausea. Nausea, I don't know what you call it. What do you call it? Nauseated. So basically, I, I felt a lot better today. But <clears throat> my eyes are still sensitive. And... Um, uh, not a lot though, just it's, it, and, and my head feels a lot better. But um, yeah, people say a migraine symptom. Yeah, it was. It, I think it was a migraine. I look kind of. It said that I, I felt like I had like it's a orbital or something. Oracle is what we googled. Oracle. So, my, Google. so it's like a, basically a migraine of like the eyes, um, where your your muscles can get strained. So basically, I think it was God saying, "Get off your computer." I think that that's what it was. Um, st stop working because yeah. I was about to be on the computer all day. Um, yeah. So, I think that's what it was, but... I gave you the chair so you could sit down. Oh, I'm going to get your call. You ready for call? Oh, yeah, thank you. How y'all doing now? So how are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're well. We're making eggnog French toast. Welcome. If this is your first time ever catching one of our breakfast lives, we like to do this and cook whatever we can come up with for breakfast. So, I was like, ooh, normally we, re we reserve eggnog French toast for Christmas morning. But I was like, why do we only have it once a season? We love it. So we're going to have it today and then we'll have it probably on Christmas morning. For Christmas, I usually do overnight French toast, eggnog French toast, where it's like you bake it. It's like in a casserole dish. But this is just plain old simple French toast. So, um, good morning and good afternoon from Germany. Hey, how is it the time now where we live? So where we are, it is 10.56. We are super late because my goal is to do the, between 10 and 10.30 is to get started. The game comes on at 12, and I got another Zoom call at 12. So, well, we, know, we slept in a little bit. We did sleep in a bit. So I didn't really struggle with this bacon. Somebody's mm -hmm. probably laughing at me like, what is she doing? Try to open this bacon. But it's chicken bacon. Have you ever had chicken bacon? I have never had chicken bacon before. So I figured we would try it. Go chicken bacon. Go chicken bacon. Roll Tide! Hey! It says, it said Roll Tide. Oh, somebody said Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Hey, Farrah. Yes, Roll Tide. Roll Tide. You know it. You ready? You ready? That's right. See, somebody said they never had a uh, chicken bacon. Not about to go 10 and 0 this season and then beat Florida next Lots week. Loves chicken bacon. Somebody loves chicken bacon? Right Ooh, there. So, oh, yeah. Danny, your sister I'm loves gonna it. I'm going to clip that down. And I opened it the wrong way. I clipped that down. Thank you, sweetheart. How many pieces of chicken bacon you think we're going to eat? Mommy! Uh, I would be like... Mommy! Yes, Ray. I turned that down. Okay. I would be like... I turned the eight mom's... Eight, 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 eight pieces. Eight pieces. Those are big. Oh, those are pretty big. Well, I don't know what they're going to shrink up to. All right, guys. So, we're going to get get started with Q&A in just a second. <clears throat> you're talking about what? You're Ooh, talking look at that piece of bacon. You just... You want to say hi? The whole middle hi. part of it. And this is not turned on, so... Say hi. Hi. You can get a different one. Two, three, four, five. Can I get six? Peeps are up there. You say hi up here. Say what up, peeps. 
What up, peeps? Join us. Hey. Come live and after. The point of it all. We don't have love and nothing that really matters. Hard to even know. See the joy that it brings. Hey, Yeah, you know y'all can go get a live intro in this bad boy. Okay? There you okay? go. There you go. <laughs> Oh, you know what? In our next intro, we can actually be cooking because I feel like we cook a lot more than we did then. Yeah, y'all remember that when we did our intro, people was mad. Like, y'all don't even be cooking like that. We cook now. But we cook now. We proved okay. it every Saturday on these lives so we could be doing some kind of cooking. <laughs> Somebody said try alpha seltzer gold. Lisa said try alpha seltzer got gold? They done got a whole new? It's been a long time since I've had alpha seltzer. Oh, God, to try it. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, yeah, I mean... We went, we went and did something fun last night, um, so y'all gonna see that vlog coming up tomorrow, I think. And um, and on the way there, Gabriel drove, and... <laughs> you had to point out the fact that I drove. <laughs> well, because I normally drive. That's rare. Yeah, because that's rare, <laughs> so it was like, a, it was a, you know, gift from God that she drove. And, but I literally, like, the whole, <laughs> the whole time, man, Hi, I was trying not to, um, yeah. Excuse me, sweetie. Throw I can't. I... So. Somebody said you look like Stevie. Yeah. I told him he looked like Ray yesterday. He looked yeah. like Ray Charles. I told her if we made out, this is what she would see. <laughs> you are so silly. <laughs> All right, so um, somebody said pork bacon or turkey bacon. It's actually chicken bacon. So we're going to do this eggnog French toast. Let me, oh, you know what? What you need? I need the recipe, but... My phone is tied up and so is bit. I pulled it up on um, you know where it's, you know where it's Pinterest. Right. Hey, hey, can not, you get your elbows yeah, off of that? I know it's not hot, but that's not best practices. This is usually well, hot, okay? See, we see you so we don't touch this, okay? Be careful. Well, don't hit it. No, but as soon as we, when we start that, cooking, okay. we're going to take you down, okay? When we start cooking. Take you down. <laughs> um, you said it was on Pinterest? It is on Pinterest. So, you get it, Ed. Let me mix it in here first. So I think it said five eggs. So we've got five eggs. We're going to need, I think, a cup of um, eggnog. eggnog. And then it is... That looks like milk. Eggnog. Have you ever had, you've had eggnog by itself, haven't you? I think it's that one. I can't remember. I think it's a cup or a cup and a half of eggnog. It looks and like then milk. cinnamon. So, it hey, looks like hey. milk. Can I get one egg? No. Can I do this? Okay, thank you. Do? That's not the one. Can I do one if you egg? pull up the, um, I, I put the, um, yes, give me one second. I can I get the, um, one egg? I put the link in the description box. Can I get a one egg? So maybe you can pull up. Can one I get a one egg? Okay, you get to crack one, Steve gets to crack one. But my, meanwhile, I'm getting cracks or shells in the. Because I'm doing too, too much. Okay. Too, too much. Team. Team. Both hands. Oh, okay. Good All right. Job. Great job. Great job. Don't eat it. Uh, don't eat it. Don't no, eat no, it. No, 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 no. Stop. Don't eat no, it. no, no. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. I'm gonna get you now. Yeah, I'm cooking, cooking with the kids. Don't eat it. A whole situation, okay? My turn. Your turn. Can you grab me a fork? No, I just always wanted to be one of the people that wear sunglasses inside. So I just decided today was going to be the day. You too cool, huh? Yeah, today was going to be the day that I was going to wear sunglasses in the inside. During the day. Okay. And okay. night, too. Your turn. My turn. See, so you just turn. Right, here we go. Oh, thank you. Can you, I just need to, can you get the eggnog that we need? Is it yeah. a cup or a cup and a half? Let me see. And this is for how many How many slices, though? Because I don't feel like we're making as much as this recipe um, said. Oh, 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 what happened there? Okay, okay. <laughs> well, we lost one <laughs> on the counter. Well, okay. this is for... Oh, over there, wash your hands. This is, no, 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 no. This is too much. Okay. You guys about to go sit down at the table. This is too okay. much. Y'all was just supposed to come say hi. Okay, but, so it says this is for one loaf of bread. So. Well, we're not making this whole loaf. Oh, crap. <laughs> Y'all are struggling this morning. All right. 
Yeah. You ready to go sit down again? Yeah, because y'all, y'all making my flow here. Because huh? we're about to make this hot. We can't sit up here we while it's hot. We can't sit here okay? while we're cooking on the grill, okay? It's too hot. When it, when it turns on, we can't have you here because it's dangerous, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. People, Sage. Sage is over here in okay. roller skates, y'all. He's in my skate, which is the funniest thing because he just skates through the house now. Like, that's his thing. He just goes along and skates through the house. I'm the couch with my mom. So how are y'all doing this morning? Are y'all finished Christmas shopping? Let me know if y'all finished with y'all Christmas shopping. We haven't. Hey, you know what we finished know, with, Steve. You don't know. You don't know what we got? We did start. I am happy to report that we did start Christmas shopping. We got a lot done. We've gotten a lot done, actually. It's amazing how quickly you can get it done online. Like, you just order what you need. It's the easiest thing ever. Do you guys that have iPhones, I'm coming over here washing my hands, but do you guys have it set where it counts down when you're washing your hands? When I tell you it is so eye-opening to see how long 20 seconds really is, yeah, it like counts down and lets me know when 20 seconds is over. It's like the best feature ever. Okay, um, and if I, if I stop, it says nice one. So if got, I stop, it says you're not done. <laughs> so we got four eggs in there? So we've got four eggs? Well, we've got, how many did you put in here? Oh, wait, so that's, okay. That's actually two and a half because we lost. Two and a half eggs, okay. Yeah. So then. So I should do one more egg maybe? Um, I mean, because there's the recipe. It's, it's for the whole loaf of bread. Um, okay. I mean, if we have leftover mixture, we can always put it in the fridge. True, true. Okay, so some of y'all haven't even started y'all uh, Christmas shopping yet. Hey. Because they waited on their last four packages. Okay, I like that idea, Dan Danny. She said, we're not shopping this year, just spending time with family safely. I really like that idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, because, you know what I'm saying, it don't even have to be about the gifts and all of that good stuff. Um, but you am I still taller than you? Did you have to point that out? Uh, no, you're not. You said that to me. You're on your different <laughs> toes. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. So. All right, are we back? Are we back? Sorry, y'all. I'm finished Christmas shopping. Are we back? I think so. Yep. Somebody. Okay, we're dead. back. Yay! Somebody's hey. done Christmas shopping. Yeah, I see that. Not done. Tanya says not done. Always last minute Christmas shopping. I know that's right. Elf. Yep, we're back up in here. Sorry, y'all. <coughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know why that, why that happened. Oh, thank you. Um. Yeah. Why is there so much to do? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I got this from um, Fancy Homebody on Instagram. I love, love, love Vanessa. She created Fancy Homebody in the middle of the pandemic, and she has been going strong, doing doing the thing, okay? And um, she actually has a, a holiday drop coming today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I literally have, like, how many sets you think I have purchased from Fancy Homebody. I have so many. <laughs> so many. Because I live for loungewear. Well, she's cute in like, I so love okay. cute pajamas. And she comes through with the loungewear. So hit her up. Fancy Homebody. Tell her I sent you. Um, get you some cute stuff today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, <clears throat> will I ever give Chad Jr. a lineup? This is as close to a lineup as he can be. I feel like this he is yeah. a, also is a somebody, bit more of a cut than what he normally Also, somebody gets, said right? about um when um dance lessons start. Oh, when do our dance lessons start? <laughs> All right. Hey, we're we, gonna come up with something. Oh yeah, I know. Next week. I just got access to a lot of dope music. I'm excited. How, how much is that? It says one and a half. So I'll just use one cut. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited about that because now we can just do. So this is a half. That's a problem when, whenever you're doing like. 
and dance stuff. Like, you can't play the song, obviously, that they're dancing to. So you have to find a song that's good, like, that's, you know, that's fun, that's upbeat, that, like, kind of matches it. And I want y'all to be able to, like, groove to it and have fun with it, you know, and dance yourself. Do you so. happen to know the name of the song of our intro? What's the name of it? Uh, so I just got my four eggs and one cup of eggnog, and I'm going to... Just throw some cinnamon What's in here. What's wrong, y'all? Dancing. You know, recipes give you measurements for cinnamon, but I just put it in there. And then I think I need a dash of vanilla. So, just put the wings of vanilla. Oh, see, it's haircut. And then whip it up, whisk it up. Love, see, just haircut. Thank you. That's what I love your haircut, dude. Yikes. You look so grown, though, whenever we cut it. It's crazy. It's like, gosh, you're so <clears> cute. <throat> Glad to be eight, son. So I was researching a bunch of different websites, a bunch of different recipes on Pinterest for eggnog from toast. And some people add sugar to the mix. Do you guys add sugar to your mix if you make French toast? I saw one that added brown sugar. And I was like, ooh, I, I wonder if that would be good. Good one. Mike, you have good mood, Has school break started? No. He has one more week. This is his last week. And then on the 18th is their last day before Christmas break. But they're still virtual. They're virtual until mid January at this point. What would you say? Somebody said they add a little sugar. Somebody else said they add a little sugar. No. So the recipe that I saw said they add brown sugar. I wonder if I should add a little brown sugar. Yes, see? Jewel said yes, brown sugar. I'm going to add just a little bit of brown sugar. Brown sugar, baby. Is that what you're Man, it is when you put it over Good observation. All right, so y'all can start with the questions. I'm going to try to multitask and read at the same time. She got to read them to me. Yeah. Well, that wasn't much of a I don't want to make it too sweet, but... Make it sweet. So that was probably about a tablespoon of brown sugar. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Sing, yay! Did you say you knew the song or no? Sing. Sing. You said you didn't know the name of the song? I have to find it. Oh, okay. He's going to have to have find it for the intro song. I, have, I see your, your uh, hold on, babe. Hold on, Jack. I see your um, comment, LaShonda, but he's going to have to find the name of the intro yeah. song. Um, good morning from Cape Town. Somebody said, do you sing? <laughs> I did not sell out of the band yet, Tanya, but I do have, like, <coughs> 30, maybe 30 left. Maybe 30 left. So if y'all trying to get them. And we did get word that they're out of customs. We looked at the UPS. It has been updated. Yeah. So they are on the way. I get my next box on Tuesday. And then hopefully the other two boxes will be coming Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. So I should have all orders packed out and sent by the, you know, the end of next week. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. Um, yeah, so 30 left. That, that's it. What color? And they're gone. What? Which one? Point to it. I lost it. You lost it? What did they say? Okay, is this on? Okay, it's on. I'll put it up. Let me see how long I'm supposed to cook this. Uh, do you want like chicken a spray? Bacon. Yeah. Do I want to do a spray or do I want some butter? I feel like a butter spray with French. I know, but a little butter spray, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of actual butter on here. Izzy, Izzy's comment. Huh? Right there. What is it there? CJ is such a little munchkin. I know, right? You are. You're such a little munchkin. You wanted to make a comment about you. He's hilarious. Can you grab the butter for me? Check. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the butter for me, Chad. Okay. Thank you. So what else? What else is going on with y'all? How y'all been? I'm sorry. It is really difficult to read the comments, cook at the same time. Sorry, like, if I could read the comments, I would. Sorry. Multitasking here. It's a strain to look at these comments. 
come out to watch the Alabama game from like a mile away. You think it smells like another eggnog? Yeah, it smells like eggnog. It does? Yeah. Don't you think? I think so. Do you think it smells like eggnog? I don't know. I kind of want to put a little more eggnog in it. Yeah, never have too much eggnog. Yeah, it smells like eggnog. I'm going to put just a dash more. I love how people say dash and then they <laughs> you come for ounce. You're crazy. All right. I'm gonna put a dash more in there. It ends up being like. So Lady Leo says she returned back to work after being off for almost a year. You had over 20k emails. Oh wow. Wow. How was the transition going back to work? Like, how has that been for you? Um, what is my favorite perfume? Um. Right now, I really love YSL. Oh, what's it called? What is it called? Hey, what is it we called? both wear YSL, don't we? Yeah, I think so. It's a YSL. It's like a. It's like a. I can't. Dang, I cannot think of the name of it to save my life. Um, we both wear a YSL though. I but it's so use. good. It's like a clear bottle with like a little black bow on it at the top. Um, but it smells so good. And then there's another one that I really like, um, Flower Bomb Nectar. Oh, Flower Bomb Nectar is probably, and that YSL are like my two favorites. Mm. Huh? Somebody's daughter's birthday. Oh, Eloise, happy birthday to your daughter. Yeah, How old is birthday. she? And then somebody said something about, I see blue light glasses or something like that. Yeah, I tried some, I have some blue light glasses uh, that I've been wearing. Um, and I mean, they help. Um, I think it's just, I'm, I got an eye appointment on Monday to uh, go get it, my check and, uh, oh, sorry, I got to turn it on. So I might have, you know, I might have, um, I might have like, you know, um, a prescription of like where I need, you know, just to wear while I'm maybe on the computer or something, but we'll find out. But yeah, blue light glasses are great though. We both have a pair. <clears throat> mm -hmm, I they, got a few pairs. They do help. They're so cute. They do help. <laughs> Gives me my glasses too without actually having to wear glasses. Because them days are over. At least for so a while. So if it's your glasses fix, then it's your gay fix. It's my G fix. <laughs> right. uh, don't, don't you scratch up my, my... I knew you were going to say that. Don't. <laughs> Because Beth is notorious for scratching up like my nonstick. You know you don't use he metal on nonstick. Always. Look. Disrespectful. I, I'm trying to get it before it melts. The good, disrespect. Okay? You, you, look. You can you open up the uh, brick for me or something, please? Help us sister out here. Ray. I'm gonna call you Ray. For the rest of the day. Uh, well, then you have two rays in this house. Two, oh, two, two. You went from two chads to two rays. That's man. so funny. <laughs> so. Ray, Ray, you're Ray from Star Wars. Eddie. Okay. Eddie. Ray from Star Wars. All right. All right. So we got this griddle going. We'll get this eggnog French toast going. Anybody like Star Wars? Watch your sleeves. Oh yeah. Thank you. Six were the old ones, mm -hmm. Luke Skywalker and stuff like that, like back in the day, Princess Leia. So then there's like, I feel yeah, like there's like 10 or 11 or 12 or something. I mean, there's a lot. So, but now that, 
Okay, so now that they're all made and you can watch them in order, does it make sense to watch them in the order they were made? No, I think, I think like, the story Why would they make them out they, of order? Well, 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 because I don't think that they knew, I don't think that, that George Lucas knew that they were going to be as successful as they were. Oh, okay. And so they just, you know, made three movies what? to what? Con- condense, condense the... Um, the storyline, uh-huh. but if you watch the old ones, then you'll get to see Anakin, which is Anakin turned into Darth Vader, yeah. who was Luke Skywalker's father. I am your father. <clears throat> That's all I know about. So okay. the old ones, Darth Vader was already the bad guy. So you oh. didn't get to see how he became Darth Vader. Yeah. Oh, okay. The new ones show you how Anakin became oh. Anakin Skywalker became Darth Vader. Oh, okay. He was actually a good guy. I wonder if y'all are talking to me about this. You need to watch. Somebody said they've only seen the first one. Star Wars is cool. So my, oh, Jules, I'm not alone. (laughs) I hate Star Wars, never caught interest. Ooh, somebody said they never watched Titanic. What? It's too long. (laughs) Christina, that is blasphemy, okay? Christina Davis, that is blasphemy. Blasphemy. Y'all know that is Chad's favorite movie. Come on, Christina. Somebody else said they never watched Titanic either. I thought that's Christina, she made a peep for a long time, right? Yes. Christina. Come on. She, she's a good old peep. I feel like, Christina, did you win? She did. She did won. you win the Sprint or the Spirit giveaway? What did you win? Did you win the Spirit giveaway? I can't remember. You you won something. Oh, speaking of giveaways, you guys, they start, I think, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, we didn't announce a winner yesterday, so we'll have to, like, add it to the vlog. Yeah, but right. on tomorrow's vlog, we will just choose a random comment. But the official rules are, obviously, you have to be a subscriber. Yeah. You have to be following us on Instagram. If you have Instagram, like, everybody doesn't have it, it's fine. Most of the winners will be chosen from, like, your comments left on Instagram or on uh, the YouTube video. Well, we might do a few from we Instagram We may do a well. few from Instagram, too. So we'll keep you posted on where the winner is coming from so you'll know where to comment. So, um, so go ahead and get subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when a new video comes out yep. or a live is happening. And we will be announcing the winners in the video. Okay. Well, you got to watch the video to see if you're a winner. Okay. Somebody says, Chad, um, huh? Chad's planner release. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thanks, Steve, <clears throat> for getting the question. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, so, yeah, so the planner. Um, I officially got the, uh, they created the mock-ups. There's three different versions. Uh, well, they're the same. Three different get, colors. Three different colors. Uh, two different versions. Um, a, a woman's version and then a male version. Um, but three different colors of the planners. Those are, they show me mock-ups. Not mock-ups, but actual done planners. Um, and they're dope. They're amazing. Um, I'm so really excited. Good. So, um, there's going to be, yeah, I'll just... There's going to be a black version, a black on black version. There's going to be a gray, like a, a, a really cool gray on black version. And then there's going to be a pink on gold version for the ladies. Um, and the pink, the pink one is, is pretty dope. It's going to be pretty awesome. Maybe I'll help you out with that one. Um, so that, those are, those are on the way. And they're undated. So, um, you know, so when I start selling them, you know, you can buy them at any point and you can use them for 52 weeks straight. doesn't matter what the dates are because they're undated. So, um, oh, yeah. so they're in route, though. They've been shipped, right? No, no, no. They're they're finishing the production. production. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, so um, oh, maybe I, like mid-January. Yeah, I approved full production, so it's, it's moving. So, um, yeah, so I'm thinking, you know, um, middle of January, um, that yeah. they'll be officially like on sale. You can purchase them. Did you turn this down? You know, it just when it gets to that temperature, it doesn't continue. To oh, it's not oh, maybe. Um, yeah. So, but basically, then, you know, they're coming. They're coming soon. And I'll, and I'll let you know soon how you can how you can get them. And um, you know, very excited. Let's go. I, I, I use mine every day. I got every day. He, does. He, got, he got me printed out. He printed me out one, but I haven't used it yet. But. It's yeah, okay. Alright, this is looking good. This first batch. Can y'all see the first batch of eggnog French toast? I don't know. Should we make more? Yeah, I'm going to make a... How many is that? A six? I'm going to make a couple more. A couple more? Okay. I can make a couple more. Okay. Titanic, or do you think it's not appropriate for him to see yet? I've not seen Titanic. 
like him. He hasn't seen it yet. I've not seen it, but I feel like at this age, it's he's okay to watch it. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think that at this, I mean, I think at this age, I mean, it's you know, uh, the getting it's getting him to sit down and watch it will be the hard part. Yeah, he's gonna be um, over it. I feel like, but um, very early on. But yeah, definitely, he's not seen it. Definitely want to see it.
V Mina says, are you guys close friends with any other YouTube families? Um, yeah. So here's the thing. Yeah. Close friends is like a tricky. I would say Daily Davidson's off time. Yeah, Tiffany and Tiff yeah. are like our closest YouTube friends. Couple like. friends, like legit. We talk to them no. offline, like. You know, we've traveled together, we've been to their house, they've been to we our face house, time, we like, face you know, time, like, those are our people. Um, but there are other families that we have had relationships with, that we are still cool with, but it's difficult it's to, to consider somebody your close friend when, when you, you live, live so far don't, yeah. away and you don't really have the opportunity so to like, connect. You know, like, like, the way fr- fr- when we think of friends, we think of, like, you know, like, you know, just like Gabriel and I are best friends. Kelly yeah. and Gabriel are best Like, yeah, you know, to like, like a friend. Like, I would actually call you if I was going through something or, you know, if I had a question and I knew you could give me some advice or whatever. Like, that we have with Tiffany for TJ. But honestly, what? we don't have that with a whole lot of other YouTube couples. We have been friends with other ones. And it's not like no bad blood or anything, but you just you can't be close with everybody. Yeah. Like... Sure, I love a whole lot of different YouTube couples. They're great. Like, you know, April and Justin, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would consider them yeah. our friends. Trey and Keisha. Trey and Keisha. Yeah. I talk to Trey saying? a lot. Yeah, Chad talks Chad talk to everybody. Like, it's a whole lot of YouTube families we talk to and we are friends with. Like, uh, who did we just talk to? The Curly Coopers. Cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I talk to Kim. Most friends. Yeah. I feel like that's a difference. Yeah. I think that we have a lot of, we have a lot of people <laughs> like, like, yeah, I talk to a lot. I mean, I talk to a lot of a lot of people, you know, just because I like having good people, you know, that I can talk to and, you know, and just, you know, uh, that, that I guess do the same thing or in the same arena of like social media. Mm-hmm. So I have a few like, you know, um, that so that that's nice having there and you build a friendship. Your know, friendships is not something you could just yeah. force. You build a friendship and it takes time. Yeah. And, you know, and and you're not meant to, to be close with everybody. You're not it's meant to be totally best friends. You're okay. meant to be, yeah, different levels with different people. Yeah. That's just how life like, is. Sure. I've, you know, I'll be, there's nobody on YouTube that's a family that we've met that we're like, oh, no, we don't fool with them. Like, no. there's none of that. Like, we I, know I'm, I'm the, cool yeah. with everybody. So, but do I need everybody to be in my personal space? Do I talk to everybody all the time? Absolutely not. And it's so funny somebody asked about Tony because I was just watching Tony's video yesterday because somebody was like, do you still talk to kids and babe? And she's like, contrary to popular belief, we bonded as, a, as black women who love natural hair, not because of our white husbands. So, like, that never changes. Like, absolutely. Like, it's not a... Because, oh my goodness, now she's not with, you know, Drew, that we don't talk to her. No. Like, that has nothing to do We're still with hoping so. for Tony to continue to win. We want Absolutely. her to be happy. Absolutely. We still got, I mean, that's that, that's nothing changed there. Like, you know, it's just. Um, yes. And somebody said, yes, we don't need you to be close with other YouTubers, but we need a Judy link up. That's another one. Judy and Benji. I talked to Benji. I texted with him probably These are people that a couple I know weeks ago. I can call that, you know what I'm saying, we've had an offline relationship that we are actually like. I would consider them friends. You know what I'm saying? We, we've so, been to their house, and, and they know that if they're ever in town, that they're welcome to our house. Like, so, you know, it's, yeah. just, it's just... It's one of those things, like, what? it's okay if all the YouTubers ain't just hanging out and being besties. It's totally okay. <laughs> I'm sure you're not besties with everybody who works with you or who does the same profession. Let me give you an example. Um, Let me give you an example to think about. Like, so when it comes to YouTubers, for us, as someone that does YouTube on a regular basis, we don't... We don't have people, co-workers, that we can talk to outside of, like, you know. Um, so, so, for instance, so say you go on a company trip, right? You work for a company, and you go on a trip. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Okay, can you find her another one? Can you find her another one? Find her another one? Find her another one? Find her another one? She's two years of age. She doesn't get it. Can you find her another one? Yeah. Please? Okay, can you let her have it until you get another one? Just go. Follow brother. Follow brother. Go ahead. All right. I think that's chicken bacon is done. I'm gonna show it to y'all. I might have overcooked it, but that's what the chicken bacon is. But yeah, so so like so say you go on a business trip and you go to a business trip where like you're a bunch of people that do the same work as you are gonna be there. You find people that you connect with because you guys do the same work. That doesn't mean you're necessarily gonna be best friends with them for the rest of your life. But you're like, you know what, they're cool. I, I enjoy hanging out with you. Yeah, that's a great analogy. So that's kind of how it is. Sometimes we it, we connect with YouTubers and they're really cool, they're awesome, and we have a good time with them. Um, and then sometimes we connect with them and they're like, 
you know what, we just, man, we connect on every level and we want to be, you know, we're like right. really genu genuinely friends and we support each other through every situation. We know each other's, yeah, you know, all, um, the all the things, right? Because we're building a true, true friendship. Um, and sometimes you just have friends that are there just to kind of help you encourage each other, right? You, mm -hmm. you motivate each other. Like, um, that's why I love my conversations with Trey because we just we're we're encouraging each other. Yeah, I would you know? love to be able to like meet up with them more. More because we love Trey and Keisha yeah. like in this. They're so like positive so people. humble. Yes. Like you know what I'm saying? I think that you would think that based off of or like some they're people, you know they're kind of flashy. They like that's their that's MO. Them. That's but them. they're so cool and humble. Love them. Like so cool. Yeah, I love it. I, I love that, that that because they're truly being themselves. Like you know, like yeah. the, and and. Um, and so yeah, I, I have different people for you know, and whenever I need a, a laugh or like a pick me up encouragement, yeah, Kev on stage. Kev, Kev's my dude, man. Like we, our little text threads that we have once in a while, it's just, it's yeah. just for fun. Like we just, we just, you know, he's a good person. So I think that's the, the that's the difference, you know, between. Yeah. So it's it's, yeah. it's it's an interesting dynamic, but hopefully you that and Reagan should it. both do great. So. It's hard for me to get ready to sit still long enough for me to. You gotta go potty? Okay. Wait, where are your clothes? Come on, come on. Has she been running over here naked? Watch those, sweet, sweetheart. Okay, I will. Come on. Um, It's hard for me to even do ponytails right now. Because she just, she just does not like for me to do her hair. Yeah. Nana does her hair, she's fine. Grandmommy does her hair, she's fine. Even TT Kelly, she will let do her hair. It's something about me that she just. She just won't. <laughs> she fusses. And even with her dad, she'll let her dad do her hair before me. I think that as soon as she sees me with the comb or the brush or the detangler, she's just like, no, I'm not fooling with you. I literally have to fight to get her hair done. And then her hair is so, like, thin. Like, I have tried to, like, braid it on the sides, but they come apart so easily. I'm like, girl. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Because I would love to like, you know, do some cute little braids in her hair, but they just don't last long because her hair is so fine. It just like comes out super, super easily. Uh, but she would be so cute with braids. I feel like she would. I haven't had braids in like at least five years. Yeah, I remember the last time I had box braids and when she took them out, I went to the shop to get them taken out and she cut me bangs. I have not had, I have not had box braids since then because I'm like traumatized, I think. But I would love some knotless braids. Just be easy with it. But it's hard to find good braiders here in Envy. Like I've been looking up people on Instagram and I'm just not pleased. Like I just, I, cause I know me and I want to spend all of that time getting it done and then be mad. Y'all remember the last time I, y'all remember the last time I tried them triangle braids and I came home and took them down? Cause they look like squares. <laughs> it's hard. I'm so picky about like what I Whoa, want to do. What? Can you say that again? It's so hard. I mean, I'll start you off. It's so hard because I'm so picky about my hair. So a lot of times I've paid to get my hair done and I've come home and fixed it because I didn't like it. But I don't have the time to do not with braids on myself. So I'm going to have to find a braid shop or something because I would love to just not be fooled with it. I'm literally this close to cutting my hair off. I'm no, no. Like, just go ahead and get you I'm some cinnamon twists. Go ahead like, and get you at faux locks. I just cannot stand it. It's just not cooperating these days and I just locks. don't like it. Like I want my, my Tennessee hair. I feel, I swear my hair has not been the same since we moved here. Like it just has never been the same. And that's interesting because we have a we have a water never, softener. Ever, ever, ever been the same. Like we I have guess, a water softener. It's a source of ugh. Do some cold locks, Shadow. Come back to Houston, you have a lot. There's so many people that braid through it. I was thinking I might take a trip to like Chicago, because you know what I'm saying. Like major, not that Indianapolis isn't a major city because I believe that it is, but. I feel like they're big you know, cities have so yeah. Much there's more so much so variety. many more options yeah. and variety. You know what I'm saying? Um, please shout out the University of Cincinnati. Your son graduates today. Yay! Oh, congrats! congrats That's amazing. To him. Congrats to you getting your son. Congrats to Cincinnati today. football team. They playing great this year. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> they're killing it. Um, so funny. Congrats to your son. That's amazing. Um, who got something about braids being ghetto? No, we're not doing that. Braids ain't ghetto. No, no. We're not. We're not doing that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Gabe, I think you secretly don't like ghetto hairstyles. First of all, Ned, I don't believe braids are ghetto at all. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you've seen that I have had tons of different exactly. styles. I've had 
tons of different styles, but I would I would wonder what makes you think braids are ghetto. Like what where did that stereotype come from? Because I've seen tons of braids that look professional, that look beautiful. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't know what a ghetto hairstyle is that you're referring to that I don't like. I think sometimes like, people secretly don't know exactly necessarily what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Brave for the culture. That's right, exactly. Natalie. Like, um, <laughs> um, oh, that pound cake was dope, y'all. Yeah, I just threw the last piece away because it was getting kind of dry. But we ate on it all week. Everybody liked it. Kelly, mom, like everybody. The pound cake was the bomb. Dot com. Shout out to Maddie James for the recipe. Um, uh. Any advice with reaching out to companies you want to partner with? That's a good question. Um, I think that when you reach out to a brand, um, and this is just my opinion because we honestly don't reach out to a whole lot of them because we, we have so many that come in, we don't have to. But I think in the times that we have... Yeah, I think... Yeah, you want me to step in? Sorry. Yeah, well, I was just going to say that, you know, it's, it's somebody that we really, really like enjoy their product and we're like man i think that this would be a great fit we'd love to see how we can partner yeah. with you now there are some people that say when you reach out to a brand you should probably have like an actual idea of hey i'd love to work with you in this capacity let's do this this and that and i think that that's totally up to you to do yeah. but sometimes just the initial ask is like hey I would love to work with you. Do you work with influencers? Is there a contact that I can speak with about it? Because sometimes, a lot of times, like if you DM a company on Instagram, sometimes they'll give you an email. Of I, mean, I think that, you know, just, um, yeah, reach out. Reach out to them. You know, you can look on their website, see if there's like a, you know, a marketing or a PR, um, you know, contact. And you can reach out to them and just say, hey, here's who I am. You know, link to your website, link to your social channel so they can check it out. Tell them that you'd be interested, you know, and, you know, partnering if they're up to that and, you know, and, and would love, you know, uh, would love to present some ideas to them um, or, you know, if they had any ideas of how they, you know, after looking at your content, how they think would be a good partnership. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we, you know, thankfully, we've not had to reach out to a lot. But, yeah, when we do, um, it's just to, to companies and brands that we you know, uh, there's been a few times where we wanted to reach out to a few, we never did, and then all of a sudden, they've reached out. you know, a year or so later, they've reached out and we've done a brand deal mm -hmm. with them. So, um, yeah, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to to reach out, um, and that's something that we actually want to do as we get our VA intertwined and we get things in, in order and get get more streamlined and organized. One of the goals is to have Thank her. you, I am Jen, for the $10, $9.99, thank you. Oh, thank Sorry, you so much. Um, yes, you did. Yes, you <laughs> did. No, but, uh, <laughs> I'm going to get into these, uh, these French toes, so y'all can see how um, they taste. But yeah, so I think that um, we want to have our VA, you know, at some point start doing, you know, kind of reach out, you know, reaching out to people with our media kit to, you know, to just to get our name in front of, of more brands and maybe it's not there. Because a lot of my brands, brands aren't necessarily reaching out, it's their agencies that are reaching out. Yeah. So you sometimes work with the agency but you're not necessarily talking directly with the brand. Now, brand obviously knows who you are because they're hiring you through the agency. Yeah, they have to approve you. Yeah, they have to approve you, and a lot of times they choose you and say, hey, agency, go get this influence where you want them. Um, but creating direct with the brand connections is going to be powerful, so just do it. Like, what's the point? I mean, 2021, if, if anything, um, has taught us, and hopefully it's taught you the same thing, is that, you know, like, you know, go for it. Like, make, go for it. Like life is can be too short. Life can be too short. Go for it. Like this influencer yeah. industry is on track to be like a billion dollar industry next year. It grew this year. It grew like this has been our, our this has been our highest grossing year in our entire in ten our years entire, of doing this. In a pandemic, there is money out there. There are brands that are working with people. Like yeah. and you don't necessarily have to have. A million subscribers or followers, we clearly don't. We don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? So but there's got, money yeah. to be made out there. But we got amazing, loyal, awesome people. We love all of y'all. Yeah. Okay. So it's 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 not about, you know, it's not about the size of the dog. It's about it's not about the what is it? It's what is it? It's not about the size of the dog. 
in the, in the fight. Like, oh, yeah, it's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the fight in the dog or something like that. I feel like I should have, like, you know what maple syrup, not this, this book. So, yeah, just, the, yeah, you got, if you want to do it, just reach out. Do it. Make it happen. Make 2021 amazing. Oh, I didn't get you a fork. My bad. We're about to do the taste test. Because it's just looking so good. I got I to try it. Okay. Yes. Taste test. Cheers. Cheers. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. I wish y'all could taste it right now. Y'all, this is so good. This is so good. Oh my goodness. And this chicken bacon is good too. Did is you that, try it? You try it. You try some new meat, girl. <laughs> Why you gotta be so <laughs> ridiculous? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, them jokers are hitting. Oh, it's like just enough. Oh, this is fire. I know, the chicken bacon is good too. Get you yeah. some chicken bacon if you've not had it before. Get you some chicken bacon. Um, the Robertsons. Wait a minute. Um, okay, let me go back. Will YouTube be forever? What's next? For us, um, will YouTube be forever? No, it won't be forever. Um... Do I feel like YouTube is going away anytime soon? Absolutely not. Um, but no, it's not like in our forever plan. No. But I mean, right now we still enjoy it. Yeah, we do. Um, we still enjoy it right we now. We still enjoy, you know, again, we always talk about this. We feel like our main mission that God has given us in this whole, you know, arena of social media is to spread positivity um, and to show love and, and you know, uh-huh. And so to hopefully be a bright spot in people's lives. That's that's fine. Like we were just talking about that there's some other moves that we want to make and things that we want to do that we have we have a lot of ideas and things we want to do that do not involve the Yeah. That's that the goal. Is my goal is to for one, we all need multiple streams of income and you know, we've been able to diversify and have multiple streams of income, but my goal is to get to the point where we have streams that don't depend on us. Um, doing something or showing up or being on. So that is the goal. Um, yeah. Eventually, we were just talking about that this morning. Um, well, so we got some ideas yeah. and we're, we're making moves in that direction. But yeah, now the goal, the goal is to absolutely um, retire from social media in a way. At some point, yeah. And this, in, in the way that we do it now. Yeah. Um, we'll still be on social media because social media is... is It'll be forever intertwined in any of the other yeah. business things that we're doing as well. Um, but it'll look different. Mm-hmm. Oh, Frankie, will you ever do braids on Chad Jr.'s hair again? Yeah. I feel like that's one of those cringe, cringe-worthy moments for me because I feel like people took my reaction so... Yeah, they took our reaction. Like... I don't know. Like I can, I feel like I'm okay to have a preference that I don't want my son's hair braided without it meaning racial reasons. All the things that people thought that it was like, and it was cute. Don't get me wrong, it was yeah. really cute, but it just wasn't my preference for his hair because he had he has um, he had curls. I liked his curls, just like yeah. Raymond has these so, big old beautiful curls, and that's what we that's what we yeah. loved about. We love his hair, just like we love Reagan's hair. But he came to me tomorrow and said, I want to braid my hair. I'm going to sit down and braid it for him. Yeah. But at this point, he don't have curls like that. He don't even have that much hair anymore yeah. to braid. So, yeah. Some things, yeah. Sometimes things aren't as deep as everybody wants to make them yeah. to be. And yeah. that's, that's the issue. <laughs> um, I saw some other questions. Let me go back. Um, Uh, oh, somebody said, how's your Iron Man training go? Um, so, um, yeah, so I, I, basically what I'm going to start is, um, really, it's, 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 it's going to start with, I haven't started yet, um, I'm going to start with a, a marathon training program, so I'll be training hard for, for marathon, I'll be doing some uh, cycling down on my trainer in the basement. And then you know swimming will kind of have to wait, um, but I'll I'll get I'll get strong on running. Um, gets a lot of good spins in on the bike on the on the, the trainer, and then uh, Ironman training will officially start probably April of next year. But I'll be doing you know marathon training and weightlifting and some cycling and stuff like that in the meantime, so that I'll come into training for the Ironman strong. You want to try this French toast? No, try it. 
Hey, 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 hey. I saw your um your suggestion. Yes, we were just talking about stocks and investing this morning. No, that's one of our that because we have. I mean, we have our four hundred one k. We have that through, through our, our company. company. <clears throat> but like in terms of like investing in stocks that's outside more? of that is something we want to do more of. We've been more focused on paying down our debt first and. I think we're on track to have my student loan pay off. 2021. 2021. Yeah. That's really exciting. And then that would be it for the debt. And that should be it for our debt aside from the house. Daddy and then we want to like aggressively invest so and all of that good stuff. So. But in the meantime, we're also so we're going to get started though at the time yeah. of 2021. Exactly. Yeah. And we're also you know kind of putting money away um, as well just to um, yeah. diversify where our funds are going. So um, yeah, we're excited about it. Christina, why do you say you don't like these talks? Why? Because it's too much? Nope. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Who's your mom? Christina, she said she don't like these, these talks. What do you mean? I don't know. That's what I asked. <laughs> oh, the name of the company is Fancy Homebody from the, for the short set. Um, how's the basement coming along? So it's finished. They finished the work build out. out. Yeah. Build out. So we're waiting on the guy. Which, what happened? We wait on the guy to come and put up. So the, he'll be next week, probably. He's gonna install the um, foldable squat rack. Yeah. And the, pull, and the pull up bar. The treadmill is in there now. Yeah. But he's gonna install the pull up bar and the squat rack, and then the mirrors that we ordered. Next week too. They will. I think the ship date is the fifteenth. Oh, so okay. once they get here, he'll come back and install those, and then we bought a TV to put in there, and I think the. 17th or yeah. something is when they're going to come and put the TV up. So it's coming along. Like it's a little slower than I thought it would be, but you know, waiting on different things to happen. So hopefully by the top of the year, it'll be done. Um, and I did see this question about a break. Yes, y'all know, top of January, we always take a break. We'll be gone for a good two weeks. So get, get into this vlogmas content because after the 31st, it's a wrap. Um, so I was trying to give Babe an option. Like, so last year we did Vlogmas and we did all of December. So I was like, do we want to do all of December this year or do we want to end after like, you know, Christmas? Like, the, so typically Vlogmas is every day in December up till Christmas. Um, so I think we may vlog every day up until Christmas and then maybe that Saturday and Sunday vlog will go up just Monday and Wednesday, like go back to our normal Monday, Wednesday schedule. So you'll have two vlogs that last week of December. But yeah, it's, it's a wrap on us after December 31st. And I cannot wait. I'm taking a solid week off of everything, coaching, everything. And then we'll have another week off of vlogging. We'll probably start vlogging again on Reagan's birthday. Yeah. So you'll we'll come back. Sometime in January, right after her With birthday. First birth yeah. ball back will be yeah, yeah. Reagan's birthday. But that's, you know, we look forward to this time off. <laughs> yeah. I think the last year we said we were going to take it off twice, like after my birthday, we were going to take a week off. But I guess we did kind of get time off because you had COVID. So I guess we did this twice yeah. this year. Yeah. Unplanned time off for that. Unplanned time off. But yeah. A hey from the Bahamas. Bahamas? Um, I know, right? <clears throat> yeah, Gabe, I was curious if you check your DMs on IG. I tried to get through them, but honestly, I have like hundreds of DMs. So, talking to my head, not my heart, if you DM me and I don't respond, like I try to get to them, but there's a lot of them. So, um, if it's something like urgent or important, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Email me or something, but I do try to get through them, but I, I can't get through all of them. Yeah, it's just a lot. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much, C Vanilla Warren. Thank you. We love you back. Oh, yeah, don't forget my meeting at 12. Okay, I got seven minutes. I'm going to do some rapid fire questions. Do we still plan on going to physical church? Well, I mean, at some point, absolutely, we'd love want to be back, but you know, it just, I mean, it just depends, you know, like churches are, um, you know, going back and forth on, you know, whether they're doing in person or just online, so um, we'll see, I mean, uh, here's the here's the wonderful thing about it, at some point, we all will be, go, be able to go back um, to church, you know, so that, that, that's going to be, at some point, things will be back, um, Hopefully better than normal, yeah. um, you know. And uh, be a new I don't know, yeah. I don't know what that is or what it's gonna look like. But at some point, 
you know, I believe that that, that we will all pull through um, this this. If you had to go back, this. if you had your time back, would you go to grad school and create that debt? Really good question. I don't think that I already had debt before I went to grad school because I had debt from undergrad. Um, so I think that I definitely would have been smarter about the loans that I took out because I took out more than what I needed because, you know, they offer you so much and you know how you get like that, the extra, like the refund checks and stuff like that. I never got that in undergrad because all of my financial aid had to cover the, un the out-of-state tuition, but when I started grad school, I was living in my first apartment, I was working, you know what I'm saying, and I was like, ooh, I could take... Instead of a ten thousand dollar loan to pay for school, I could take twenty thousand dollars and have this extra ten thousand dollars. I did that like twice, yeah. so I would have definitely been smarter about the debt that I took, that I had taken. And then also, I deferred my payments for so long. I did not start making payments on my student loans until we were married, yeah. like two two years into it, maybe. So I graduated college in two thousand and four. So. For 10 years, I just deferred and deferred and deferred, deferred because I had this mindset, oh, I'm always going to have student loans. I ain't never going to pay these off. These are bills I'm going to have to the day I die. I used to have that mentality, which was the same thing I had about a car payment. Oh, I'll always have a car payment. That's just one of those things. No, we don't. And it's, right, I'm not doing car payments anymore. If I can ever, you know, if I can help it, I don't want another car payment. Um... But that was that was what I that is what I would change. So anybody that's in school right now, or you got somebody about to go to school, or you uh, on your way, think very smart about student loans because they will throw them at you. And I just wish someone was there to teach me that you don't have to do, like you know. I mean, my mom hadn't saved up money for me to go to college. Nana and my dad and my mom they helped the best they could. They paid the difference. But they didn't have money just sitting for me to go. But I wish someone would have just talked to me about what I was getting myself into with the student loans. They're like, I know you want to go out of state. I know you want to go to the school, but could you possibly work and help pay for it? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just the responsible thing. So if I could go back and change anything, I would have started paying on them right out of school. I wouldn't have waited yeah. a whole decade before I started paying on them. Because with interest, I've... Yeah, I'm up, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of interest that I have accrued over these years when I, I could have just paid what it was, you know what I'm saying, and been done years ago. So that's what I would do differently if I could. Um, <clears throat> uh, what else? What else? <coughs> Love is from Starbucks. Yes, I just say that. Chad, do you have any student loans? And if so, do they have any options for veterans to wipe out? No, no. student loans are paid Student loans are paid <laughs> off. That is one thing we did this year. Paid them jokers off. <laughs> like, but we also paid off the truck. We have. We paid off, we student paid student off the truck. We did like 35K. And then we paid, what was it, like 45K? 45. Down. Down. Yeah. Yes. So 80, 80 Gs we paid off this year. Yes. And in, in, in debt, um, leaving her student loan as the, because we did it in the debt snowball type, so we did the smallest to the largest. Mm -hmm. um, so leaving, you know, Gabriel's as the last one, or, or not Gabriel's, our student mm -hmm. loan as the last one, because that's how we view our debt. We view her debt, yeah. when we got married, her debt became my debt, my debt became her debt. That's mm -hmm. how we view it. Um, because that's the healthiest way to pay yeah. debt when you're married. Is that it's, it's in, our in our opinion, it's your debt. Yeah. So, um, so we're excited to pay it off in 2021, and uh, God willing. But as a but as a, a vet, he did get money to go to school. He only took out those loans because we were he paid for the wedding. Is that what it was? Yeah. Amongst other I things, had no yeah. idea that he I, was doing that. I also help my parents out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of yeah, there's some different circumstances. I help my parents out quite a bit, um, um, and and you know, made sure that Gabriel, you know, she didn't know this, you know, had the the wedding no that she idea. that Thank she dreamed you. of. It was a beautiful um, wedding, but had I known he was taking out loans, I'd have been like. But let's go at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It happened. Yeah, yeah we here, we <clears> passed <throat> that. So, um, and, and you know. Yeah, Christina, you paying for your MBA out of pocket? That's awesome. 
And then, like, especially if you plan on going to graduate school, there's so many companies that will pay for your schooling as well. Unfortunately, my company didn't help pay for my MBA because it, it, they said that it didn't really have anything to do. I was working at a medical uh, device company, and they were like, this isn't really going to help you further your career here. Yeah. So they didn't pay for it. Um, but had I been going into like medical device research or anything like that, they would have paid for it. But there's a lot of companies that will help pay for graduate school yeah. um, if that's something you want to do. Um, yeah, absolutely. Definitely learned about it the hard way. It is 12 o'clock. Is it 12 o'clock? Oh, man. Dang, we was having a good conversation. Okay, y'all gonna have to come back next week. Um, I just want to make sure I didn't have any last questions. Are we saving for the babies to go to college? Yes, that is part of our that is part of our planning as well. Because I think in the past we felt like, well, did nobody pay for our school, so they're gonna have to figure it out on their own. But then I was like, that's just not the smartest thing. Like if I can do anything to make sure yeah. they don't end up in the position that we're in now, then that's what I'm it's gonna not, do. Like, yeah, we don't feel like it's our job to live our kids' lives for them, but we do believe that we can set them up for as much success as possible. Absolutely. And that's, uh, that's our, that's our, I mean, that's our absolute, like, benefit of, 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 of and our blessing of being their parents, mm -hmm. uh, you know, is that you have the chance to help your kids have a better life than you did, like, make things even better. Um, so that's the goal. That's yeah. the goal. We love our kiddos, and we just want them to... Yeah, I don't want yeah. them having loads and loads of debt yeah. before they even get started in the world. Like, if I can help that, that is the goal. Um, <clears throat> okay, so it's 12 o'clock. The game is on. I got another call. We love y'all. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for all the well wishes. Um, yeah, this will, I don't know what's going on, but it'll be... Can we bring back couch conversations? Well, I feel like there's nothing for us to talk about on the couch... Because we talk about it all on the podcast. Like, I guess that's always yeah. my thing. Like, well, what do we talk about on Couch Conversations that we can't tackle on Let's Make Out Podcast? I don't know. Yeah. So, and now there's, like, other people that do Couch Conversations, and I'm like, they then kind of took the name and went with it. So, it's like... I they didn't take the name, because we had the name. <laughs> I guess we'll just stick to the podcast. Who knows? We'll see. I don't know. Somebody said, feel better, Chad. Hey, feel glad better, people are saying it. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you for Ooh, all the work. Somebody said, try peppermint and rosemary oil. Just go get it in your eyes. Like, put it on your temple. Like, what would be the best place for him to put it? Um, I was looking up oil stuff, trying to figure it out. Because I got so many oils that I don't use. Um, so, okay. I will keep it going. So, yeah. And uh, I'll leave you with a uh, good old road tide. Love y'all. Oh, can you say bye to the kids? Do y'all want to come say goodbye? Hey, yes, come say bye to the peeps. Reagan, you want to say bye to the peeps? Come say bye. Come on over. Come say bye. No. Come on, buddy. No, don't touch. Don't I touch. can't see you from over there. Come on over here, handsome. All right. So this tooth is hanging on by a thread. Like, it's literally, like, hanging on by a thread. Come here, baby. Come here, Doc McGregor. Come say goodbye. Come here, Doc McStuffins. Bye, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, we'll come say bye, okay? Let's see how he over and over and he came and said bye really quick. Say bye, Ray. Bye, bye. Mm, I'm sure I can see it. There you go. Bye. See, I'll see you later. See you later, peeps. Look there. Later, peeps. Say, have a good day. Say, mwah. Love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. All right, see y'all We'll see y'all on the vlog tomorrow. That's right. The first giveaway winner.